Let's take a minute and see how to search for available tutors within Track Cloud. First, we'll expand this box here. And I would suggest leaving this Find First Available Immediately option here. You can choose by date and sender, but it works best to do this. I'll show you how you can filter this down in a minute here. Next, we'll choose what course we want to find tutoring. Let's try this kinesiology course. And our reason is going to be UTS Received Tutoring. Upon searching, we're going to see a lot of options here because I'm going to show you some different options you might see. You'll probably never see this many different kind of options available to you. But just so you're prepared for whatever you might see, I'll show you the different things. The green colored sessions refer to one-on-one -on -one sessions that you can book. The yellow are group or up to generally three students in one tutoring session is yellow. And blue is a drop-in session. For drop-in sessions, you don't book those appointments, you just show up. It just tells you when there is drop-in tutoring available for that class. For the green and the yellow, I'll show you in a minute here how you actually go about booking those appointments. But for blue, you don't book those. You can just send a reminder for yourself. So that's the three different colors you'll see, in-person, group, and drop-in. You also may see these different symbols here. To highlight the Hickory location, we've got this pink tree. Uh, locations on the Boone campus are going to have this green archway. And if I open up for Wednesday here, we'll see these little online Wi-Fi symbols. That means it's only available online. Okay. So if I want to filter this thing down, oh, and if you have that's one-on-one -on -one or online, these kind of online ones are available you'll see it no symbols there because it's not been set yet what kind it is. Typically, the first person that books a session like this, it becomes, uh, it'll have these one of these symbols appear as it becomes that for a future booking if that student does that. If I want to filter this down, the most typical way you might do this would be maybe by day of the week. If I want to only, for example, see things that are available on Wednesday, and I close this out, and now we only see Wednesday. It's closed off that Tuesday, even though there were availabilities. It doesn't show that to us. That makes it easier for you to, to draw down on one individual day of the week. Let's go back to select all of our days. If you want to pick a specific type, if I want to only look at one-on-one -on -one sessions, now we only see the one-on-ones, only the green ones are available. You do the same thing with the group. Now I just see the yellow. So you can do that if you'd like to. Uh, in addition to the days of the week and the types, you can also choose the centers and you can choose the locations. These operate a little bit differently. Let me show you an example of how we could look at only options that are available, let's say only in Hickory. I can deselect the 208 DD Doherty. And what I would suggest doing when you go and look at one given location, click it, to unselect it, and then click it again to reselect it. That kind of makes sure it sticks pretty well. Now we only see the Hickory locations. We don't see anything that's available on DD Doherty. The exception would be uh, options that are either online or in person. Again, those are available to you as soon as the first person books it, it becomes that. So it's still technically available for us because we didn't say no online. If we want to for sure only look at something that's in person in Hickory, then we would do this. And again, I'm going to unclick and then click it again. And now we see only in person Hickory. We don't see, we see these options as well because they could be booked as Hickory. Um, they're not only online kind of thing. So that's how that works. You can go ahead and you can play with this to kind of filter down to whatever you want. You won't typically see this many options available to you. I built a, a setup that has a lot of options, but that gives you an idea of how to do it. Let's go ahead and book a session so you can see how this thing works. And new this semester in fall of 2023, when you first go in to book a session, let's go ahead and, and do a group in-person session. Let's actually do a group um, in-person or online session here, over here like this. You'll see these terms and conditions appear. You'll have to agree to this the first uh, time you go to book an appointment each semester, uh, or when you come in for tutoring, you'll see this um, contract effectively you're making with uh, University Tutorial Services. Once you accept that, you won't need to see that again until you uh, until the next semester. This brings up the booking confirmation page in which if you had an option, for example, the, the appointment we chose was either in person or online, we can change these like that. And note that it will change down here. It'll tell you where the location is. Right now, this is in Hickory because it's in person. If I go online, it tells me that the location will be on here. So the link to join an appointment will be within Track Cloud. That's how you'll join an online session. So I pick either in person or online. In this case, I'll keep it online. I can put notes here to help my tutor, let them know what I want to work on. If I want to upload a document, I can do that as well. Neither one of those things are, are required to do. And I can go ahead and then confirm that appointment by pressing this yellow button. Now, in my dashboard here, I can see that appointment being listed. If I move over to that date, 
I've already canceled a few appointments here. You can see old Tommy's been busy. We now see this appointment is over here. And if I click on it, I think I don't have access to that link until up to 15 minutes beforehand. So if I click on this right now to try to join that session, it won't tell me it's ready yet. I have to wait another 14,442 minutes. So what it's telling you is that you can't join online session until at most 15 minutes before the session. That link will appear here within Track Cloud in order to join that online session. If it's in person, you just show up at the in-person location and you'll be logged in there. So that's how everything works. If you want to cancel an appointment or something needs to change with the location, if you want to add notes here for the tutor, you can put that stuff in here. Um, and then uh, everything is going to be handled from here. Any online or any in-person session you have with anything within Track Cloud, whether it be UC Advising or the Writing Center, they're all going to appear in through here. If I need to cancel a session, uh, make sure you want to cancel it um, more than 24 hours in advance. Others, it's going to count as a missed appointment. You can just cancel it like that. And then you'll have a notification on here that you have canceled that appointment, just like these three have been all canceled.